All right, today we're going to start talking about flex. We're going to have to do this on several lessons, but today the basic of how I uh, get these images to you know, change how they're lining up. Right, it's being flexible, flex. Okay, so to do that, um, you let me see, where is the so for that T one. Okay, so it's like a big box. We make a flex box, and then the things inside the box um, adapt. Let's show you this. So there's a div called T, and then inside that, um, well, there's a div month. There's a div month. And inside that, there's Class T, class T, class T, class T, those are all the different T images in there. Okay, so the T's of the month, they're in a box. So the box is this month, and then there's a whole bunch of T's inside. And then we should be able to go over here and see month. There it is, display, flex. Flex, wrap, we want it to wrap. We want it to put things in the center. So let's just try that. Div ID, just call this the box. Um, whenever I'm using flex, I sketch on the page boxes how I want things to be, what boxes it's going to be in. Because um, you can have flex inside flex and it gets complicated. So I always draw a picture of a box and then what items are going to be in there. So div class item let's call it one close the div just put a whole bunch of items in there <laughs> save this Projects flex. Um, and then just to save time, won't make a style document. Just put in the head here. Style. So, um, let's see, box, um, it's going to be display flex, all right, um, let's just start there, do, do, do. Okay, just listing like that. Doesn't look like much yet, right? Now let's try justify content. All right, center. Probably the most common one you'll use. Moves it to the middle. Um, but there are other things you could do. Space between or space around. Those are convenient ones. Um, and it's spread it out. Okay. So that's a nice little feature. Okay. So it's not wrapping, right? How we did that before, how I did that before was flex. You can see these different things you can use. Okay. So we'll get to this flex wrap. Um, so you can play with those wrap, no wrap and wrap reverse and see what they do. All right, so now
wrapping on to the next line. Um, actually, I think that's the default. Maybe I just didn't make it small enough at first. Yeah, it's wrapping. Oh, uh oh, so it didn't wrap. Okay, it's squishing the items. Okay, so there you go, something to play with. Um, the wrap reverse. Um, oh, wait. All right, let me just show you this real quick. Flex end starts at this side. Flex start, we'll put them on this side. So these things that show up, um, you know, give them a try. Let's see what happens. Flex wrap, wrap reverse. That's what I was gonna show you. Just instead of wrapping, like the next item goes here. When it goes to the next line, it goes on on over here. Oh, it's wrapping upwards. I was wrong. <laughs> um, so that's the reverse. Okay, so play around, right? That's how you figure stuff out. <laughs> See you next lesson, and we'll continue with flex.